Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by U.GG. If you haven't heard of them, they're a new stat site that provides a ton of valuable information to help you take your game to the next level. This site has a ton of features, but my favorite one is being able to find the most efficient build path, rune page, skill max order, and more. Now, as you guys probably know, I play a ton of champions, so having a resource like this to quickly open and within seconds know what my setup should be on a particular champion is really great. There's also a bunch of filters that you can change, such as filtering it so that you're only seeing what Master Tier, Grandmaster, and Challenger players are using. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level and get an advantage on your solo queue opponents, check out u.gg. This, this site is quickly becoming the go-to for high elo players such as myself, and hopefully you'll join me in elo heaven soon. I'm going to leave a link to them down in the description. I highly recommend that you guys check out u.gg. Hey guys, what is up? I, Oki here, and today we are taking my Leona into Iron for the first time ever. Guys, we are going to be playing Ioki versus the unwashed masses of Elo Hell and seeing if we can carry in the lowest of low Elo. And, uh, guys, I get a lot of people telling me, you know, uh, Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm stuck in bronze or iron, but it's not my fault, it's, it's my teammate's fault, you know, they don't care, they don't follow up, they, there's too uncarryable, things like that. So guys, today we are going to be showing you that uh, you can carry out, uh, your way out of the so-called elo hell and uh, low elo, and you can do it playing uh, Leona, because I also get people saying like, oh, if you're going to play support in low elo, you gotta play brand, you gotta play lux, things like that. Nope, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to carry out of iron as Leona. So guys, this is the first time we've ever done this, so uh, let me know down in the comments is, if this is something that interests you and something you want to see a little bit more of. We're taking a lot of poke level 1. That's a little unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and pop my potion. But yeah, just have to play uh, as aggressive as possible, but also smart. Because who knows if uh, I'm going to be getting the assistance from my teammates that uh, I'm used to. Go ahead and dump the ignite. Got her flash there. Taking a lot of damage on the uh, the exit there, but it's all good. All right, we got Caitlyn's flash and Karma's ignite. Down on potions, but we should be able to kill at level three once I get my uh, my W. Need one on auto, just one auto. There we go, there we go. All right, auto Q auto on her. Ooh, can he get it? There we go, boys. All right, so already we are two for one in uh, three minutes into the game. We got all of their summoners, so that should be a really easy uh, return gank on Udir. Oh, one other thing I want to mention is that I am not duoed with anyone. This is completely solo. Um, I am the only, to my knowledge, high elo player in this game. Uh, everyone else, we are playing in iron, so this is, uh, you know, I didn't want to stack my team and bring in a duo or anything like that, so I wanted to give you, like, guys, like, a raw, actual me playing in iron video. Alright, so like I said, the lower elo you want to go, or the lower elo you are on the ladder, the more aggressive you want to play. Smart, you know, don't, don't be suicidal, but, like, aggressive play is rewarded incredibly highly in uh, the lower elo you are whereas like you know you get to get the mid elo get the higher elo di diamond plat things like that um people start understanding that like you're going to play aggressive and then you get punished for it but uh, a lot of people just like straight up misposition like this caitlin's let me uh, catch her two times already so if they're gonna let you do that you gotta you gotta uh, capitalize it capitalize on it Oh man. So one thing I've noticed is that I've played in a lot of elos. Um, I've played all the way from bronze 5 to, you know, high, high master tier, playing with challenger players. Um, the different elos, people like dodge differently in them. Have you guys ever noticed that? Like I've noticed in some elos, like usually lower elos, people don't dodge at all. So that you end up like, you, if you like shoot your skill shot ahead of them or to the left or right of them, like predicting them to dodge, they just won't do it and you look like an idiot. So I'm going to try to uh, not look like an idiot this game and uh, just pretty much shoot it directly at them most of the time there we go there's another catch but yeah usually by by the end of the game I, I've adjusted because you know you can kind of like get a read on these types of players and be like okay is this the type of player that's going to dodge to the left or the right or do they not dodge at all 
Alright. Let's, uh, let's collapse on this bad boy. I do have boots. Uh, okay, everyone has boots already. Wow. What? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Interesting. Alright. So I rotated. Wasn't actually able to, uh, to get anything for it, but... All about presence, boys. I felt comfortable roaming because we do have an Ezreal who's a relatively safe uh, ADC, and we had killed their support, so he was, you know, alone in lane. I'm gonna leash this a little bit for Udyr, and then I'm gonna go back to lane. When it's past the three-quarter mark, this is what I call the three-quarter mark. Uh, when it's the lane's past here, Leona can't really contribute much to the lane anyways, because like a Zenith Blade would take me under the turret. So, whenever the lane is shoved up like that, I try to find other ways of uh, contributing to the team. You know, leashing the dragon, or you know, trying to roam. Alright, let's back out of that one. That was a bad trade. Not a big fan of playing with Ezreal's, um, just because he's kind of like the opposite of what you want to do with Leona. He doesn't have great all-in. He wants to like poke down and get Kleptoprox and scale up, whereas Leona like really wants to fight early. So this is actually a good video to make because I don't have a good ADC that pairs with Leona. Um, you know, I don't have like a Tristana or a Draven that we can just like steamroll. So this will actually be like a really really big challenge to be able to carry this. Um. I'm going to ping that I have enough gold. Oh, that's another thing that I'm really going to focus on. Uh, communication is key. Extremely, extremely important, especially in low elo. Like, letting people know. Because he might he might just not notice, right? He might be, like, distracted farming or trading. And uh, I want to let him know that, like, got 900 gold, I'm going back. I'm going to be pinging, letting him know I'm not in lane, things like that. Communication and clear, concise communication is very important. Because it would, you know, it would objectively be his fault if he died 2v1 right there, but it would also be my fault if I didn't let him know. That's a team game. Alright, I'm very close to level 6. Oh, man. Flash is up in 10. I don't think she knows I'm here. Flash is up in 3. Might be going for a flash play on this Karma here. If they play it safe under the turret, oh well, can't do anything about it. But I'm also all, almost six. Oh man, I'm gonna be sad if we can't kill this karma. I'm gonna be really sad. Right. Right, they're rotating over on Udir. I'm also gonna try to go for a deathless game. So guys, call me out down in the uh, YouTube comments if I end up dying in iron. Please don't let me die in the next like 10 seconds. <laughs> How embarrassing would that be? Man, we didn't get that, Caitlyn. Barely survived, barely survived. Alright. Unfortunate. Nocturne was uh, pretty ready for that dive, I, I reckon. But uh, nothing to do with an ADC dead. So I'm going to try to roam once again. Trade Flash for Corky. I'm fine with that. Hope oh, I'm shoved that up. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I'm gonna go back just to replenish my mana, and then we'll see uh, what we need to be doing on the rest of the map. I'm gonna be watching top lane. Top lane's getting like heavily out farmed, but he hasn't died yet. Crossing my fingers. I actually expected like a lot more solo deaths. Iron, you're disappointing me, man. Where's where's the zero ten top laner at three minutes that I've heard about? Alright. Yo, Ez. I'm gonna say this without flaming. You don't use alt to wave clear because we can kill with it. I'm gonna try to say that without hurting his ego. I really don't want him to take that as flame. But if you stack alts with Ezreal, like if you wait until I've got like a Leona ult on top of him and then you throw the ultimate on that, where they can't move, can't dodge, can't flash it, that's how you use Ezreal ult. Uh, the, the wave clear actually got like massively nerfed. So you definitely don't want to wave clear with Ezreal anymore. Because one, it's not good wave clear. And two, it's like severely lowered our kill potential in this lane now. There we go. Kapok, Kapok. 
we got going on top. Even when you're not there, guys, want to contribute to the team, keeping uh, summoner timers in the chat. Uh, oh man, she flashed out of it. Right as I landed the stun. Alright, we know that's not coming here, because he's topside. I need help, I need help, I need help. Oh, man. Oh, I need you to block something, bro. Man, we died in iron. No, the challenge. Alright, so, a little bit of misplay from both of us, both Ezreal and me. Oh, there we go, buddy. Well played, man. We died in iron. Oh, man, I regret saying that. That's alright, that's alright, we're doing well. This is a tough lane, and we're doing pretty well with it. I definitely think we're going to have like a bigger impact once we get out of laning phase. Just because, you know, our, our laning is a little hampered by not having an aggressive ADC. Uh, what we got here? Is Ryze looking to come down on this, or what are we doing? Go. Yeah, man. People, people miss position all the time in low elo. All the time. So when you get people saying things like, "Oh, you need to, you need to build a damage champion. You need, you need to play damage if you're gonna play support in low elo." No, you just need to probably be making better engages, or like be making the gauge, the engages that you're not seeing. You know what I mean? Okay, we know Nocturne's on this side of the map, so we don't want to dive this Karma. I would love to dive her, but instead I'm going to kind of just hover the dragon. Don't want to touch it, because it's going to unproc my Mobis, and Udyr's going to like clear it just as fast without me. Okay, here we go. We know Corky has no flash, so if he shoves this, if he greets here, this would be great. Looks like he's playing safe. Man, I thought, okay, okay, we got the slow, we got the slow, we got him, 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 boys, there we go. Alright, so, I wanted to uh, wait for Ryze to use his root, because it's a targeted, can't can't miss it. And then dump the ult. It ba I think it tagged him with the slow, it didn't actually stun him, but we tagged him with the slow, which was enough to uh, dive him. We're coming down here, Ezreal used his ult to wave clear again, that's a little upsetting, but okay. I'm not gonna say it again. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell him again. It's just whatever. If he, if he's uh, if he's not gonna take that advice, it's fine. This thing that's top side. It is indeed top side. Uh, probably won't have kill potential for another 40 seconds. For my ulti. I just want to come down though. So if we can start a fight, that'd be great. So. Don't think they're diveable. You only have three minions too, so and you're not in the bush, buddy. <laughs> not only is the bush hoarded, he wasn't in the bush. Alright. Clean, clean, bro. Tried to take my ADC's cannon. You dirty boy. We didn't end up getting any plates, which is uh, a little unfortunate. But Ezreal's ult is up. Dump, dump it on my ult. Oh, I'm on a ward. She is respecting me a lot. I might have to go for an E flash here, or we could just play it out safe. We know Nocturne's dead. Actually, we might be able to dive here. Ezreal just missed his W. One auto on her, there we go. Ooh, he's going down though. Alright, that was a little sloppy too. A little sloppy. I'll, I'll take the fall for that one. That was my fault, Ezreal. My bad, bud. I think I'm forcing stuff a little too much.
feel like I feel like the iron is is uh the the inner Aoki iron is really coming out this game. Making a lot of iron plays, iron mistakes. Hey man. It's one of those win in Rome sort of things, you know? Nice try. She's a, uh, she's, she's pretty strong. She's a strong lady. Alright, we're gonna say that's worth it, though. A kill for, um, a kill for a kill on a turret. That's fine. We got a Righteous Glory now. Now, this item, I love building because this is, like, the ultimate low elo item. Like, I've been saying this entire game, people misposition all the time in, uh, in low elo. And this item, while it's not, like, the most gold efficient, stat efficient thing for, uh, for Leona, like Zeke's and Vi Knight's Vow is like pretty much like the core build on her, right? Um, Righteous Glory is just the best for catching people out, man. Like the absolute best. What are we doing now, boys? Where to next? We need some. Uh, we need some assistance here pretty soon. I might be able to one v one them. Nope, no one v one for me. But I do have them locked down for a uh, easy jack skill here. Maybe. Here we go. Easy, easy. And uh, looks like we're gonna get karma as well. Nice, boys. Dude, I held my own against that Corky for a long time. Uh, gotta be aware of the Nocturne ult though, so... We don't have a wave. I don't I don't think we want to go for this. Ouch. Okay, Nocturne's mid. We can't actually go. Easy. There's the Aurelia TP. And we're getting another dragon. Very nice. Let's go, boys. You can bait her into dashing to him. I need her to use her dash, like to him, or else uh, we can't kill her. There's the forfeit, boys. So that's going to be a 18-minute uh, game, and uh, that right there is how you carry an iron guys this is the first time i've ever taken my leona rank one leona in the world into iron so uh let's go ahead and take a look at our damage chart see see how we stacked up honestly that was a lot less like fiesta e than i thought it was going to be um just as many mispositions as i thought and just as many like kind of like mechanical errors and like weird decision making oh we got promoted to bronze boys hey one game in iron and we're already out guys that's how good we are Amazing. Let's go, fellas. So uh, I guess th right th that right there was the proof that we were playing in iron. Um, looks like we did about six thousand damage, so about four hundred more than uh, than Caitlyn, and about on par with uh, Karma, more than Nocturne, and more than Aurelia. That's surprising me. She did a lot of damage. But uh, guys, this has been um, taking a high elo player and uh, putting them into iron. Iron tier and showing that you guys definitely can uh, play and uh, win and carry as Leona in Iron. So let me guys know if you guys want to see more of this down in the comments. Take it easy. Peace.